Hey guys, it's Tyrell Echoes here, and I just want to share with you a few tips, a few key things that I thought I should cover as far as Facebook. I know um, <clears throat> that I do a lot of training on YouTube, but I'm really good at Facebook too. And there's some things that I see people do all the time that I want to make sure that you're aware of um, when you're doing your Facebook marketing. So one of the things I want to cover is you have to protect your brand. And of course, your brand on Facebook is... <clears throat> is run from your fan book page. I'm sorry, I said your fan book page. It's run from your fan page, okay? So what we're looking at right here is this is my fan page, okay? Now the reason I took you here to look at the fan page is because when you log into your fan page and what you see here is not what other people see when they go to your fan page. When other people go to your fan page, you have to actually click the home button in order to see what other people see. And the reason why you need to actually go through this and look at this is because you never know what people are actually posting on your page. You want to know what people are seeing when they go to your page. Remember, this is your brand, so you have to protect it like you would do anything else. So it's always a good thing to scroll through here just to see what the people are saying. To make sure that it's congruent with, what, with the message that you're trying to get across. Like Les Brown, he's always great. Uh, I'm not doing this to call anybody out. <clears throat> but how do these get here? Now, what determines... No, I should make it back here. So what determines what shows up in your page feed are your likes. Right here. Your likes, okay? Now, these are all likes that you, that you got while you were... <clears throat> in your fan page or your public figure persona, you went to your like these pages. Now make sure when you're doing that, <clears throat> yeah, follow people that you think may help you if you're when you're forming relationships, but make sure you look through their page and read through their content because what they put in their page is going to show up in your posts. Okay? So make sure you do your homework first. So these are just some of my likes. But all of these likes, everybody, when they post stuff to their page, they can also, their post can also show up in my page, my business page, my fan page. So you really have to look out for that. Sometimes you have to go through and actually unlike some of your likes because you don't want what they're putting on their pages to be on your Facebook page. So that's just one of the things I wanted to cover with you. Uh, Michelle Pescalito, she is <laughs> the Facebook guru. So absolutely, I, I say go check her out absolutely whenever you can she's the best she's the best at facebook marketing okay i actually learned from her too so another thing that i want to i want to cover uh really quickly is when you're going through facebook and you're trying to market on facebook and you're building relationships and way to build relationships are to go find other like um find other groups um, or other fan pages that actually have a lot of people there who are talking about the same thing that you're talking about or rather people who are interested in your industry and because we're in the network marketing industry you want to go to other network marketing based <clears throat> pages that are providing valuable content or people looking for help so when you do that make sure you're in your make sure that you're using your Facebook or your I'm sorry your fan page persona when you do it and I'll show you why all right, so let's look for, let's see, my, all right, so we're going to look at Miley System Pro's page. All right, now I'm in here as my own, as my own fan page persona. I'm going to show you why. Just yesterday, last night, we had a, um, a webinar, a really great webinar. I'm going to show you the benefits of it. So let's see if I can do a, let's see, see all. So when I'm making comments, let's see if I can find, ah, right here. Just from, no, 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 let's see, let's keep scrolling, see how far I can go, let's see if there's any on here, gotta keep going, find any posts from last night, Bye finale, <clears throat> twofold, when you're actually, when you're actually talking to people or commenting, the reason you want to, reason you want to use your, here's a great one, the reason you want to use your fan page persona is because you see that like button right there but when 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 you respond to people's comments they can actually like your page by clicking on that like button but that can only be done if you're logged in um, with your Facebook persona 
if you're logged in as yourself as your personal profile it won't work so what so why not make it easy for them <laughs> easy but I haven't go to your page they can actually give you a like and also whenever people are going through going back through these um, these posts and they come across your name all of those click your name and it'll go straight to your fan page which also helps to build the likes let's see this is a really popular page so let's see if I can find some of my posts from last night ah okay uh, let's see Uh, no, I guess I could be looking through this for days to find uh, some of my own posts. But you see my own, <clears throat> you see my, my actual picture actually shows up here for my fan page. I cannot, but you pretty much get the gist. When I, if I were to make a comment here, absolutely, people could just click on my name if I like it. Like, for instance, let's do this, all right? Let's like this, okay. So, see, <clears throat> when people hover over your name, um, because it's me, you can't see it, but there will be a like button there for them to like. It also shows how many people are talking about it. The likes actually gives a picture of my page. That just makes it easier, like I said, for people to like your content. So that's just one of the things I wanted to, that's the other thing that I wanted to show you, a quick way of getting likes, and to make sure you protect your brand. So with that, that's it. These have been more tips by Tyrell. Hopefully, um, you'll find some value in this and you'll be able to use it to actually help you and grow your own business um, if you no matter where you're watching this please leave comments they absolutely help me out whether they're good or bad whether you like it or you don't it's really important that I know I really want to know how you feel about it and if you're looking for more tips like this go to qualityleadsprospecting.com which is my page um, which will show you the system my uh, my lead system pro mlsp which actually taught me how to do these type of things so with that it's been tyra god bless